Hey, and welcome back to my channel, y'all. Today we're gonna be working on a Volkswagen T2 panel um, truck. These things are really, really, really cool. They look neat, and they just, they just really, they're just really fun little cars. But um, I've already drilled it apart, and just looking it over, and never, it's brand new, so of course it's gonna be in, in pretty much new condition but once i do tell you once you strip these things you can find some major major defects in them and that will actually tell you whether you can put spectra flame paint on or you're gonna have to stick with opaque paint because sometimes you just can't do nothing with them i mean you can spray spectra flame paint but let's go y'all i'm just gonna wire brush it off a little bit this helps the sanding process to me um i've always done it it gets that residue off so um you can sand it sand it easier i just i think it makes it a whole lot easier to sand and that's what i'm doing here so let's go to the next step y'all all right here it is i've got it wire wheeled i got sanded with my eight step sanding process eight different grit sandpaper 2000 being the last grit and i'll tell y'all i'll I start off sanding these things with 220 grit, which is a very, very, very coarse sandpaper, but that's what it takes to get them um, smooth. That's what I use. And I just go on up from there and just smooth it on out, y'all. So next, next paint booth. All right, y'all, here I am just blowing it off, making sure there's no trash, nothing like that on it that will stick in the paint and make it look junky. But I'm going to try to get into the little fender wells. Not much fender wells on this thing, but um, the hard to reach spots, I guess you would say. And this color is Spectra Flame Aqua Blue. It has to be my favorite blue out of all the Spectra Flame blues they got, which comes from the Red Line Shop. All my paint comes from the Red Line Shop. Redline shop carries so much stuff for your Hot Wheels and they carry paint, they carry wheels, they carry repo parts, windshields, um, decals, everything. And that's where I get all my paint from. But um, I'm just putting a really thin coat on it. It might look like I'm putting it on heavy, but I'm not. A lot of people will start off putting on real light and then they'll go to a heavy coat, saturated. I don't do that. Um, you have to wait 15, 20 minutes apart between coats. But I put my coats on light. And I put my second coat on light according to how many coats it needs. And it, it, all, it also depends on what color you're using, I guess. Some, some of these colors are hard to spray on. It takes a lot of coats to put them on, but... Um, if you build them up lightly, it makes them look better. And um, another thing, if you put too much paint on these things, it'll actually take away from the I'm gonna call it reflectiveness of the paint. I mean, it's made it like, uh, like the chrome is shining through the paint and giving it that reflective look. And if you keep putting it on darker, 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 the more it takes away from that effect. So. That's another reason I put on really, really light coats to, so I can see, turn it at different angles and see the, and see if you can see the chrome, see if you can, um, see the effect shining through. But, um, here we are. I got it up, got the parts here. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time here, but, uh, got it painted, got it all ready to be put back together. And um, it turned out really, really good. I, I lost the footage of the decal, so. But here's, here we go, y'all, here's our reveal. This is how it turned out. It turned out really, really, really cool. I got a carbon fiber, uh, I put a carbon fiber deck, decking on it. Actually covered the um, existing copper. Actually, I stripped the copper look off of it first, the interior. And everything i just don't like that look but um i covered it recovered it in carbon fiber 
which really, really looks pretty cool. And like I said, I lost the footage of the decals put, being put on, but um, everybody's seen decals put on and know how to put them on. This thing really turned out really, 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 really cool. I'm really, really proud of it. These things are just so cool looking to begin with. And I'm going to put a big engine on one one day. Sort of like the hypo hauler. I'm going to do my version of it with one of these. I think that would look pretty, pretty cool. But um, did the detailing, did the front headlights, tail lights. Um, I've never fooled de detail detailing the interior yet. I'm probably gonna try to get into that because this thing's pretty pretty fun, but I've never tried it. But I want to thank y'all for watching.